Hi, crafty friends. I'm so excited to show you this really easy patriotic project that just happens to be pretty cute too. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com and I hope that you'll watch this tutorial and get inspired in some way. So I'm working with a scrap piece of painter's canvas drop cloth. I have a six by 20 inch piece that I just hot glued together to make a little pocket, turned it inside out so I would have some nice little seams there. And then I created a little one inch lip at the top and glued that in place as well. So this is the main part of my project. And so I'm going to put a design on the front using one of my printable designs that says America the Beautiful. And I just printed it out on some regular uh, computer paper. And you'll see me that pull that out here in a minute. And I'll show you how I went about adhering this to this canvas pocket or pouch, whatever you see. So that's ready to go. I'll put that to the side. And now I have this, I've printed this out. It comes in an eight by 10 image, but I made it a little bit smaller with a five and a half by seven inch. And I'm just using some water to kind of uh, do a water ripped technique along the edges to give it a tattered look. And so I'm going to do that here with the water. So that's all that you see me brushing on here. I'm going to rip it back. And once I think, you know, I'm making sure that this is going to fit in that space. So if you do this little pocket design, you can make them all different kinds of sizes, you know, and you could make mini ones or big ones, whatever you want to. I'll even give you a glance at a look at one I did at the very end with a B design on it. This super, super cute. I'm going to take it one step further for that extra crumply distressed look. And I did, I crumbled it up. And now I'm going to use some Mod Podge to adhere it on to the canvas. You could even do this project double-sided. You could put one holiday or theme on one side and decoupage a different design on the other side. I love the versatility of this one. But all that I'm doing here is I'm putting some Mod Podge directly on the back of that printable that I'm putting some down on the canvas as well. Now to help with some of the bleeding on the canvas, because I did use an inkjet printer to print this, I did uh, bake my printable after I printed it on my home computer. I baked it in the oven on the lowest setting for about 10 minutes just to kind of help heat set. You could also probably do that with a dry iron just to make sure that that ink is nice in there. And then I sprayed it with a little bit of hairspray to kind of help set the ink. I got a little bit of bleeding along the edges, but it wasn't bad at all. And so I loved the way it turned out. After that is all dry, I use this little crocodile punch, which is great for punching through fabrics. And I'm just going to put little holes on each side up at the top and that's going to allow me to put some sort of hanging piece. I chose a wire jute which I found at Hobby Lobby and I bent it in half to kind of get it through that tiny hole and then I'm using any excess deciding how long I kind of want the piece of rope to be on. The piece kind of ends up looking like a little purse. <laughs> it's cute but um, I take the excess and I just wrap it around uh, going up on the side here. You can kind of see the visual here with the video tutorial is certainly helpful for these kind of things explaining them. But you can see me just kind of twisting the excess there. And now I have my piece. I just have one little other embellishment that I think would be really great that I'm going to share with you. And it is some upholstery tacks. And those are going to go right over. I'm just going to hot glue them right over where I inserted the jute string into the hole. And so once I get those glued on, I believe we are finished and you can see how I styled it here. I put a little bit of paper down inside to give it some shape. Then I took some greenery and uh, a kind of a vintage looking flag and just kind of styled it that way to give you some ideas. Like I said, it'd be so cute to do this reversible. This one's more of a long design. And this one here that I'm showing you that I did with uh, during a Facebook Live is more of a horizontal design with the bees. And I made it a little bit bigger and it turned out super cute too. So I hope it gets those creative wheels spinning for you. Let me know how you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. Bye-bye.